Well, folks, it is a new day. We're working on the utility shed again. Did some more burning of tumbleweeds. And I'm sick. And it's Clint's fault. I passed it on. You're welcome. He was sick all last week. And I, I felt a little something in my back of my throat like the last two days. And yesterday I was thinking, oh no, I'm gonna fight this thing off. And then late last, or not too late, but last night I started realizing, no, I'm getting sicker. So I've now got a cough and sore sinuses. And, and he's wanting to lay in bed. And I said, forget that noise. I didn't lay in bed. You can get up here and help me. So let's go. Yeah. That'll work through it. <laughs> so, uh, but today we're finishing up the the utility, the exterior of the utility shed, putting some sheathing on it, and then we'll probably have enough time to start doing more insulation on the inside. We will. Yeah, definitely. We will. <laughs> I'm gonna take a nap or start building rafters. One or the other. So while Brady's sitting there on the sheathing. load of sheathing that we're going to put up, and you can film me while I tell you, you may be looking at this and going, hey, what's going on with that tape? Well, you may not be saying it. You may be thinking, okay, we're just in the midst of it. But we're not. This is all the tape that's going on here, here and up there, because obviously we ran out and I don't have any more, and I'm not running to town to go get more tape. Take half the day when, this was kind of an experiment in the first place. I, I wasn't sure for one thing, well, I, I've discovered two things. One, maybe I only discovered one thing. <laughs> I discovered one thing and came to grips with another. How about that one? So. One thing we discovered is that anywhere this, this tape was exposed on the, on the insulation board and got moisture, of course it didn't stick. This is a porous material right here. And so that tape didn't stick. So trying to do tape on the outside was, this is my come to realization part, is that it probably wasn't the smartest thing in the world to do on the outside. I was already thinking about doing it on the inside as well. So maybe that's what I'll end up doing. I don't know. We got to get the shed done for one thing. <laughs> and, and to be honest, all the time I knew that this tape was really overkill. I think the insulation alone was going to be enough to keep that place warm enough inside that we didn't have to worry about the freezing temperatures. But I didn't know. And I want to try to make sure at this point, again, I'm not wasting half a day to it when I need to get the shed done. So we're going to go ahead and sheathe this and then I'll decide later if I want to tape the inside or not, or just, just leave it screwed on. So, cause everything's screwed up anyway. So just leave it screwed on anyway. So let's get to, we'll get the sheathing on. If I can get Brady up and get, get him working, quit being lazy, we'll get going. So before we get started, I just want to say we really appreciate both of you who are watching our videos, it, it really means a lot to us to know that at least there's, you know, one or two people out there that appreciate our humor as much as we appreciate ourselves. I don't think <laughs> anyone can do that, to be honest. I think, I think the most anyone can appreciate us in comparison to how much as we appreciate ourselves is like 50%. <laughs> Half as much. Uh, as, as our family always say, we, uh, what do they say? We think we're funny. We think we're funny. <laughs> you think you're funny, don't you? But hey, if, uh, if you like our humor, be sure to like our video. He took that right off of what? I was rolling right into that. And Leave us a comment with your favorite joke. And we'll say our favorite ones in the next video. <laughs> don't forget to share this one with your friends, families, enemies, lovers. And like it, thumbs up. <laughs> Enough of that, let's get to work.
Yeah. Next! Thank you. You only have two sheets left? Well, we don't have enough to do the top. Or this side. What the heck? So Clint's gonna have to run into town. I'm gonna take a nap. No, I don't have to run into town. Bring it out the next time, but how did I not do that right? Wow. Yeah. Okay. I assume you didn't do it right because we're bad at math. Seem to be. I always thought I was good at math. Oh, careful. It's a ladder right there, right there where I put it. Is. You were good at math until you had to use it in a real world setting. I guess. Put me in a math class, do a little calculus. Do we put other sheets somewhere? There's no way I made that big a mistake. I'm missing like four, five. Yeah, four sheets at least. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four anyway. Did we give any to anyone? If you have our sheeting, give it back. <laughs> and this is the last sheet on there. <laughs> uh huh. Well, let's put this on the back. Yeah. We don't have to make any cuts. Uh huh. This goes on there. You guys aren't going to see this one. Just know it was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Just know. Let, let this be a lesson to you. If it isn't perfect, Tell yourself it is. <laughs> Just tell people it is. Don't show them, but tell them uh -huh. it is. Uh. That looks beautiful here. Uh huh. The dang concrete. I'm sure it screwed us up over there. Yeah, it did. But in the end, you will never know it. Okay, so here's the uh, ingenious, I'm going to say ingenious way we figured out to do this. Because we need multiple hands, but obviously there's just two of us. It'd be best if we had four of us, but we got two. So we took this piece here that was supporting between, while well, we only had our three walls, holding these two walls together. Um, and we're going to use that to hold a space up here for our ridge beam. board ridge beam it's a board it's not really a beam so it's a ridge board so we made this we're going to slide this down to where that ridge board can sit out here we've got to put another one up out over on this end too and that way we can sit the ridge board board up there and then we can take our rafters and and secure them up so I think it'll work. Brilliant. Brilliant, maestro. So now we got to slide it over into place, secure it down, then go make one to put up on that end too. There you go. We've got our other support piece up on the end wall. So they're both up now. And so now we're going to get our two by eight and stick it up there, get ready for uh, trying to put the rafters up. Okay, so now we've got to do our rafters. Now, rafters are pretty intimidating because um, 
they just intimidate me. That's why. They're important <laughs> and they're hard to do. I know. <laughs> because everybody knows, yeah, you got to cut a bird's mouth in and everything else. So here's a rafter, right? You got to cut a bird's mouth out. You got your eave. You got your angles of the overhang and everything. So that's kind of intimidating. But it's really not that difficult if you know the math and everything, how to do it. So here we go, back to high school. <laughs> so for our building, we know that it is 14 and one quarter inch in width here. So half of that is seven and one eighth. We know we want to do a pitch of 612. So to figure out um, how high we want this to be, because we know this is going to be seven and one eighth, in order to know how the high that is, we have to do this. We take the 612. That's what we want. We know we're shooting for 612 pitch. We need to find out what the height is of ours going to be. Our actual measurement is 7 and 8. So we want X. So we do a cross multiplication. 12X is equal to this times this, which is 42.06. Divide that by 12. We get 3.505 feet which is three feet, six and the 16th of an inch. So that is our height over here. <clears throat> now we know the, this, we know the height. We need to find the length because that's what our rafter is going to be. And now we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. Pythag Pythagorean, there we go. So you guys all know that, right? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we take A squared, our 35.05 Square that, add that to our 7 and 1 eighth, which is 7.01 feet. Square that, and that'll give us our C squared. That is, and we do the calculations for that and find out that C, our length here, is 7 feet 0.837 inches, which is 7 feet 10 and 1 32nd inch. Boom! There you go. Quick and dirty. Brady, don't cut that out. People need to know. <laughs> I'll tell them to go watch a good video about how to do it. <laughs> so here's how we do this. This is pretty simple. So this is going to be the top of our rafter. We take that and swing it out until this part here of this, of this square. See it says common here. That is the common rafter pitches. Six is what we're shooting for. So we're going to line that up. We're going to put this on six right along that top of that board. And when we do that, then we can scribe our line here. That is going to be the cut we need to make at the top of our rafter, right? Now, we cut that first. Then we take our tape measure. Since we know we want our rafter to be 7 feet 10 and a 32nd inch long, we're going to hook that on there, go down, make a mark at 7 feet 10 and a 32nd inch. Then... We can take our square again. Here's our one that we're doing right now. We've got our mark out here at seven feet, 10 and a 32nd inch. And we're gonna put it at six, tw six, 12 again. Line that six up at our mark and boom. I haven't lined it up really well. So anyway, there's our mark. We, we make our mark there. That is the edge of our building, right? For our bird's mouth that we need to cut out, we just need to take a perpendicular measurement from that. Perpendicular off of there. And we go out the distance that we want it to be cut out. We chose six inches. So we lined it up, went out six inches, made our line. So this is what we're going to cut out for the bird's mouth, right? Is that making sense? Totally. They all agree. Then we want an overhang. So we're going to take the edge of our building here. We're going to measure out, in our instance, we want a one foot overhang. We know that we're also going to have a inch and a half fascia board out here, a two by six. So I want a 12 inch minus the inch and a half for the fascia 
And we'll take that right off of there and we're going out to perpendicular. We're going to 10 and a half inches. We make our mark at 10 and a half inches. And then again, do our 612 pitch and whoosh, mark it. Those are our cuts. We're cutting off our tailpiece here, cutting out our bird's mouth and cutting down there. Voila. Well, there you have it. We actually got the first part of the ridge up with rafters. Yeehaw! Exciting. It was a bit of a work. I mean, it was a lot of trial and error. A lot of error. It took longer than I expected it to. It took a lot longer like everything else. Yeah, but uh, it is up and it's looking good. It's set. So tomorrow we'll try to keep on uh, working our way down and uh, see what we can do. As long as it doesn't rain, it's sprinkling us right now. Fingers crossed it doesn't blow off in the night. <laughs> I don't think it will, but you, you never, never know. know. You never know. It, uh, it's not secured up the greatest. It's not. But it is secured, so. Barring any super duty heavy gusts, <laughs> should be good till tomorrow. So we'll be back on it tomorrow.